Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar, but you already knew that because you like the videos, you subscribe to the channel, so stop playing games with me, all right? I don't have to introduce myself every video. Hey, let's get straight into the news, ladies and gentlemen, because it's most definitely juicy. For our first story of the day, some drama in Twitterverse, Hank the Tank and Easy Breezy Cover Girl went at it. Started with a tasteless tweet from Easy Breezy DF saying, one of my subs said he's postponing his suicide for my next vid. That's true loyalty. Now, obviously he realized this was in bad taste because he immediately deleted it after getting some criticism, but not before Hank the Tank, the one and only Hank who keeps finding himself in these drama alert videos, quote tweeted it, said, sounds about white. Breezy responded to that saying, you're white though, with the <laughs> laughing emoji face. Hank quote tweeted that and said, and you joke about suicide. Easy responded saying, didn't you wish death or cancer on someone for losing a park game? Oh, but you're a child of God now, huh? So they're throwing shade at one another. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I live for. Hank followed up with a tweet saying, yo, imagine being Easy Breezy Live, participating in a virtual pixelated basketball gaming clan of people who pub stomp bots who are all scared to reveal their faces to the public over a span of four years and make suicide jokes. The drama kind of de-escalated from there, but I thought it was very funny, so I put it in the video. Yo, for a future reference, just maybe trying. I know you want like everybody trying to be edgy, but like just try and filter a little bit, just a little bit. Cause some things are funny and cool and edgy, but other things is just like, why would you even say that? That's just something you shouldn't say. For our next story of the day, you're gonna need a little bit of backstory. So if you guys don't know, the NBA 2K League Combine is underway, and you might've seen people already getting angry and frustrated because their teammates are selling them. But apparently one of the new uh, developments in the NBA 2K Pro-Am community is that people are searching in the combine with a group of friends. They call this a search party. And so they all search together and they all get matched on the same team. And of course, if you're playing with guys you know against randoms that don't know each other, you're gonna destroy them. And so people are just running it up, 37 and 0, 40 and 0 records, just mocking people, one to five comp pro-am players on one team. There's also been a lot of drama between the players that were unretained in season one that are trying to fight for their spot back in season two and some players that are just new trying to get into season Season two of the NBA 2K League. So there's been a lot of friction and drama, a lot of shade and shots being thrown. And one of the funniest on Twitter was from Zay, who said this. I mean, well, he quote tweeted Smooth, who I believe plays for the Jazz Gaming, saying, if you're playing the right way and controlling what you can control on the court, you shouldn't have any worries. Don't worry about stats, do the little things to get your team to win. Which, by the way, is just a load of bullocks. Let's be honest, all right? If you're if you're doing everything for the team, you're gonna finish the game with like five points in reality, right? So you gotta be, to a certain extent, a little bit selfish, even though you wanna come away with a W. That's just my fucking opinion, though, so I don't even matter, probably. Zay responded with a quote tweet saying, yeah, that's why you didn't hop on the mic until 149 left in the fourth quarter, right? That's why you shot about 13 heavily contested threes, right? That's why your matchup had like 30, right? Because you were playing the right way. You a clown. So apparently people are getting into games with some of these 2K League players. And some of, this, some of them are just flexing their muscles saying, listen, I was in the league. I know better. And to a certain extent, I was doing the same thing in last year's combine. So I can't even get mad at them for doing that. I was trying to say, listen, I, I don't play competitive pro am man. Just sit in the corner. We need some people to sit in the corner. Without the corner sitters, there's gonna be no space. Anyway, uh, this drama's, I assume, gonna escalate. Once people start revealing their stats after they complete their 40 games on the combine, some people are gonna lose their minds, and some people are gonna accuse people of doing this and doing that. Just like last year, there were some people that were quitting games where they felt like they weren't gonna win. Now, this year, there's this whole debacle with search parties and playing with people you know instead of just playing the way that the combine was designed to be played. I'm gonna keep you guys in touch Touch though, don't even worry about it, ladies and gentlemen. Agent Beamstar is on the case. For our next story of the day, NBA 2K is under some fire because pretty much a lot of 2K content creators that upload the neighborhood have been asking for some sort of Christmas themed or winter themed park. Like we need snow in the background, some trees up, man, some, some bright, beautiful colors, but we haven't gotten anything. You know what game has gotten something? NBA Playgrounds who put out this tweet saying, get into holiday spirit with Playgrounds 2 and ball out on the new 
ice cold Christmas playground. You can also rock festive new vanity items on 35 new players, including Carl Malone and Dennis Rodman. They dropped a whole video showing their new snow park and everybody was mad. I mean, not everybody. Some people that actually play playgrounds were like, oh yeah, let's get it. Woo! <laughs> but everybody else was like, yo, you mean to tell me playgrounds got some new content? for the winter season, but 2K didn't. So it kind of started this whole campaign on Twitter with folks like Davis, and it was mainly Davis, asking for some snow update, some sort of seasonal update for NBA 2K, because that's the content we're trying to see. At the start of the year, Ronnie 2K and NBA 2K were talking so much about like 30 new themed parks that they had. And like, they've been showing a lot of it, like Reese is here, Ruffles there, this, that, boom, bop, house rules, you know. So they're running through a lot of them, right? How is not one of them some sort of winter themed seasonal park? I don't, how is it not that? That would be brilliant. Imagine if you cycled that in every hour with all the other perks, right? The one at night, the one in the middle of the day, the one at the sunset. That would be genius. So anyway, it's probably too late to start doing that if it's not already done, but you know, for future reference. For our next story of the day, Mike Wang put out this tweet and it, it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. So let me read it out and see what you think about it. Do you want layup timing and a layup meter for NBA 2K20? Now, the obvious answer of course is yes. Although it doesn't need to be as strict as shooting, there should be some sort of layup meter if you're shooting half bars, yet deserve to miss even if you're a slasher. But that's besides the point. A lot of people took this tweet and ran with it saying that NBA 2K20, what? You guys are already working on 2K20, how about NBA 2K19's flaws? And I just, I was baffled that this was even a conversation because there's a whole lot of stuff to criticize 2K about. But you didn't know? My guy, the second 2K19 launched, a huge part of the team, if not majority of the team, was scooped up and put on the next project. Because the second they finished thinking about the ideas and the direction they want to take NBA 2K20, they already have a whole lot of developers on it. Did you think the entire force of the NBA 2K development team over at Visual Concepts was working on 2K19 and it was still broken? Took two months to fix private matchmaking and they had the whole squad on it? Is that what you really thought? Man, they done moved on the second the game came out. Which is why I've been trying to tell people the, the real solution isn't I mean, why don't you focus on 2k new mint it's hire more people because yeah you do need people to start working on 2k20 now or else that game is going to be asked but how about the game we just bought so instead of dividing the pool of talent you guys already have with visual concepts hire people i can say it forever it is the easiest solution on earth but it costs money because these developers don't come light, right? These guys are smart people, man, right? Or else they'd be making the inferior product. So I'm saying just hire a whole bunch of talented people. If you need to, NBA 2K, just start poaching people from other good development studios, right? I love Naughty Dog. Take some people from Naughty Dog or Rockstar Games. Those guys is killing it. And they're a part of Take Two. Take some of those guys, right? Just start hiring people left and right from good organizations. And sooner than we know it, 2K19 is gonna be a fixed, polished game. And then we'll also have 2K20 to look forward to, which I'm hoping is going to be an even better game. For our next story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I dropped the video a couple weeks ago playing NBA 2K17. It was more like a goodbye video because the servers are going down at the end of the year, so there's only about two weeks left to play the game. As me and other YouTubers drop goodbye videos for games that servers are shutting down, there's kind of been this, uh, we can call campaign, and it's been a campaign of people fighting to bring the servers back for older NBA 2K games. Because if you think about it, even games like Activision still have Modern Warfare 2 servers running, and what is that, like a decade game old? Because they recognize people still enjoy those old games and they'll go back and play them. People might have spent microtransactions and money on some of those old games like 2K16. And so it would be fair to those people if they can go back and still experience the game that they paid for. Now I get for 2K to a certain extent, it might not make sense in terms of money. But 2K, listen, I have a solution just for you. How about we shut down that garbage ass NBA 2K18 server? Shut it down. Nobody's interested in playing that game. And if you are, I feel bad for you, all right? There's a lot of better games out there, you, just excluding 2K, come on, bro. This, Red Dead just dropped, Super Smash Ultimate dropped, Black Ops 4 is a lot of fun. PUBG just dropped a new map, for God's sake. New season of Fortnite, you're playing 18 of all the games. If you're gonna play a basketball game, don't let it be the worst one of all time. So what I'm saying is, remove the servers. Take the money you saved from shutting down those garbage ass servers, right? And revive either 2K16 or 2K15. That, ladies and gentlemen, would change the landscape of the community. Now, I don't know how many people would run back to play it, and I'm sure there's some 
business model 2K can implement to make money off of it so their investors are excited about it. But I'm just saying that there's a game nobody likes that has a servers on and there's a game that people like that doesn't have a servers on. So let's just do the thing that makes sense, right? For our next story of the day, I have to slide this one in here. It was easily the funniest thing that happened all week. Charisma put out this tweet saying, lol, this is the 2K community, huh? Y'all, better stop cursing when you think your mom is not in the house. I could explain it to you, but I'm just gonna let you watch it. It's better that way. Oh God, nigga! Oh God! This nigga's God right, bitch! What you talking about, nigga? I'm assuming you don't know I'm in the house. I'm assuming. Mom, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mom, I'm sorry. Mom, mom, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you really kidding me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is mom, going on? Mom, relax. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not I did not mean to cry. I didn't even know you were in the house. You don't know I'm in the house. You don't know who is listening. Mom. So this is why those words should not mom. be coming out of your mouth. I'm sorry. Your mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey yo, shout out to moms, man. She came in with the fucking anger. I right, just a couple key observations I made in this video. One, he's a pure stretch four, so immediately he loses some credibility. Two, the exact moment he realized his mom was in the house, because you can hear the footsteps. I thought it was in my house for a second, but I don't have an upstairs. So it's in the video, and he hears his mom, he's like, oh, snap, I hope she didn't hear what I just said. <laughs> you know that face he makes when he realizes his mom just pulled up? <laughs> oh, that's you're priceless man on that note ladies and gentlemen that's it for the news if you guys enjoyed drop a like subscribe to the channel click on this video or that video or this video or that video my name is agent beamstar sorry guys sometimes i have to get the towel out the way i'll catch you guys in the next one peace